A 2014 study done by the Idaho State Legislature says since 1998, the death penalty was sought in just 22% of cases where people were charged with first degree murder. And just seven of those cases resulted in an actual death sentence. The death penalty cases aren't tried very often and a death sentence is even less likely. Currently, the state of Idaho has eight inmates on death row. The inmate who has spent the longest on death row is Thomas Creech who's been incarcerated for 34 years. He was convicted of beating an inmate to death. And there's only one death row inmate in the entire federal system who was prosecuted in Idaho, and that's convicted child killer Joseph Duncan. Duncan was sentenced to death back in 2008. Hundreds of tips in their search for Shasta and Dylan groaning. He pled guilty to a 10-count indictment, charging him with multiple crimes related to the 2005 kidnapping and murder of 9-year-old Dylan Groney and the kidnapping of 8-year-old Shasta Groney from their home outside of Coeur d'Alene. Since Idaho enacted a new death penalty law in 19 1977, just three inmates have been executed. These executions took place in 1994, 2011, and 2012. But it can take decades for a death sentence to actually be carried out. As we see of the eight people sitting on death row right now, six of them have been on death row for 20 plus years. Prosecutors say all appeals must be exhausted before that step is taken. And the Idaho Supreme Court is required by law to review every death sentence, whether the defendant wants them to or not. In recent years, there's been two notable former Idaho death row inmates who used the appeal process and were eventually set free. In 1984, Charles Fain was convicted and sentenced to die for the murder of a nine-year-old girl in Nampa, Idaho. DNA evidence exonerated him after 18 years on death row. And even closer to home, Donald Paradis was accused of murdering a couple in his Spokane home and then dumping their bodies in Post Falls in 1980. He was a leader of the biker gang Gypsy Jokers. Paradis was acquitted in one murder and found guilty in the other. He spent 14 years on death row before his sentence was commuted after new evidence was found. To even seek the death penalty, prosecutors have some strict guidelines they have to follow. It is no way an easy or quick process to sentence someone to death, and the process is even more strict when it comes to actually carrying out an execution. In the studio, Alexa Block, Crime 2 News.